Hi guys, today we are going to learn about GMAC account for SQL Server. So we are planning for the AOAG setup and uh, always on SQL Server are configured on multiple servers. So uh, GMAC account is generally created to manage multiple server with single service account or manage service account okay so if you see article so gmsa provides single identity solution for services running on server farm or on system behind load balancer okay so by providing gmsa solution you can configure services for the new gmsa principle while windows handle the password management so here no need to take care about passwords okay so that will be taken care by windows system domain controller okay so let me first jump into uh, active directory user and computers so here you can see manage service account first we will create security group so here we have security group created sg underscore sql admin okay so let me create for security group new and group okay so here you can create security group global and security should be selected let click ok let me add multiple members so here i have two uh, nodes SSIS development and node 2. So I have total three systems. One is domain controller, and these two are SQL Server nodes SSIS development and node 2. Uh, you can consider SSIS development as a node 1 and this one as a node 2. Okay. So let me add both server in uh, security group. So, SIS development settings. Okay, so SSIS development is selected. Let me add more to. node 2 is also selected so both uh, uh, nodes are now member of security group okay let me apply now we need to run couple of commands here i have added already i have executed this command add root key so generally uh, this root key uh, is taking means it it will execute immediately but uh, it will take 10 hour of time to uh, get into effect okay so to avoid uh, 10 hour of uh, wait time we can directly put minus 10 and execute this so it's not advisable on production server but here we are doing testing so we can execute that okay so already root key is created if we want to check that root key so here i have executed this root key command Okay. and it will return guid and when we do get root key so it will provide you detail about uh, key okay so next thing is we will do add service account okay and we will add this service account as a uh, gmsa account we will create gmsa account with uh, this name association gmsa underscore sql admin okay and we will bind it with security group so let me execute this now uh, okay it is saying it has too long name so
let me remove the character let me create like that okay gms and that should be fine okay so let me agree it once again yeah so now our gms account is created okay and it is showing principal name attached with security group okay uh, now to register automatically spn entries we need to execute this account so it will do self registration of uh, spn entries okay let me execute this command so this command is also executed successfully if you want to see this account you can refresh here your gms sql admin account is created okay you can see here properties Member. Okay, so this GMS account is created. Now we go to our SQL development node one, and here we need to execute two commands to attach same GMS account with this server. Okay. So let me install gms account on node 1 mm. Say, is already created. Let me see if we can get this account here. might be restart is required hmm. yeah i think i did not log in here as a domain administrator okay so, so let me first log in as a login admin uh, administrator and then we will try to execute this command okay. now i logged in here as a, a domain controller let me try to install now ad service account no i think restart is required Sorry, I forgot to install role. Uh, we need to add one role here on target machines. Target machines means our uh, node one and node two. We can add that with role and feature. Okay. And from here, select next. We need to do same thing for both uh, target machines. Okay. Okay. Here to do next, and there is remote server administration tool 
और रोल एडवांस है एडी डीएस एंड एडी एंड डीएस टू ओके सो इफ इट विल रिक्वायर रिस्टार्ट इट विल डू रिस्टार्ट ओके सो वंस आई हैव डन सेम थिंग वी नीड टू डू ऑन सेकेंडरी नोड And now ADDS and ADLDS tools feature is installed on both target machine. Okay, so now what we will do? We will execute this command. See. Yeah, now it is executed successfully. We will test it. Okay. okay. Now same command we will execute on node two. This one is node two. So you know, here also I have installed same ADDS AD and this two feature. Okay. Let me execute this command. Command is same. It is saying that sys denied. Why? Logged in as a sys admin account. Yeah, admin one. It should have privileges. We need to be run as a administrator. Let's leave this server for now. In this mode two, call it should be added. Because we have added here both members. And no two and no one both have number. Okay, that we will check later. But let's complete second. I will explain for the one server. Okay, so now let's go to SQL services. Integration manager. Let's. First, we need to check SPN entries. Okay. What we will do? SPN. Let's run file. This service. Let's see. What all entries are there? There is no entry. Right. Manage the all and this is texture dot dot com. Okay, so let me change this SQL services account to run with GMS account. Go here, we will change here our service account and change object type to SQL. Check names, 
yeah, GMS service account is now now found. Uh, no need to add password because this is the purpose. We are means password will be managed by Windows services. So no need, no need to add password. Yeah. Okay, so on agent, these services are applied. If you see here, uh, this one is a service account, but I created GMS account, GMS account, and with dollar sign. So let me change SQL services with same GMS. Here. So now SQL services and agent services are running with zones. We see now SPN entries. Yeah, now SQL server related SPN entries are created. Mm -hmm. um, and go to why it's not created. I think it's already created. Yeah, means we need to install on one server, maybe. Let me directly apply GMS account for more two. Select the directory. Service account. Location is defined by it. Yeah, no, it's working fine on node 2. Okay. Let me test it. So it required restart of target machine. Once uh, the GMS account created. Okay. Now let me go again to SQL services. Now let me try to apply a same GMS account. Uh, it is in a stop state. Let me browse it again. Okay. So 
it should work now check names okay apply Yeah, now it's working fine. Let me start SQL services. Let me apply the same thing on agent services. Okay. Now, our GMS account is working fine. So, this video will be helpful to all of you. And thanks for watching.